Welcome back. Today on our journey through the Bible, we will learn about God's final warnings, the plagues, and the corrupt church. loves me yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me the bible tells me so restoration our memory verse comes from revelation chapter 21 verse 4 and god shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. The Final Work, Three Angels' Messages John's attention was taken to another scene in which he saw the 140 and 4,000 sealed servants of God with the name of the Father in their foreheads. This group was described as virgins, not having been defiled with women. They had a pure religion, not corrupted with false teachings, and having no deceit in their speech. They spoke and lived truthfully and faithfully in accordance with God's laws. They stood on Mount Zion with the Lamb, and they sung a new song, before the throne of God, the four creatures, and the twenty-four elders. Only the hundred forty and four thousand could learn this song. John's attention was then shifted to an angel flying in the middle of heaven. This angel carried the everlasting gospel that is to be preached to all that live on the earth, every nation, race, language group, and people. The angel declared the everlasting gospel with a loud voice, saying, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Then a second angel followed closely behind, declaring, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Then the third angel came with his warning, saying in a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. These angels brought messages of warning to those living on the earth, not to give in to the evil system of false religion. They warn of imminent judgment and advise humanity to worship their creator. They also pronounce the double destruction of Babylon, the system of false religion, because of the deception in which they have made humanity to indulge. Finally, they describe the undiluted judgment to be poured out by God on those who willfully choose to follow deception. After this message is preached to all the world, the pronouncement goes out. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Then John saw Jesus on a white cloud, wearing a golden crown and holding a sharp sickle. An angel declared that the harvest is ripe and ready for reaping. So Jesus first thrusts in his sickle and harvested the earth. Following Jesus' reaping, another angel came, also holding a sharp sickle. 
An angel with power over fire declared that the grapes of the earth were also ripe and needed to be harvested. The angel with the sickle harvested the fruit of the earth and put them into the winepress of God's wrath. When they were pressed, blood flowed out of the winepress. John then saw the sea of glass looking like it was mixed with fire. Standing on the sea, he saw those that had gained victory over the beast, his image, and his mark. They stood there singing the song of Moses and the song of the Lamb in praise to God, who alone is worthy of all praise. Seven Last Plagues John then saw the temple in heaven open, and out came seven angels dressed in white linen, and their chests covered in golden bands. One of the four creatures gave them each a golden vial full of God's wrath. These plagues will be poured out on those who accept the mark of the beast in their foreheads or hands. The temple was then filled with the smoke of God's presence, so that no man could enter the temple until all of the plagues were complete. First Vial The first angel poured out his vial on the earth, and those bearing the mark of the beast were plagued with painful sores. Second Vial the second angel's vial was poured onto the sea, which became like dead man's blood, and every living soul in the sea died. Third vial. The third vial was poured into the rivers and springs, which also became blood. The angel praised God's justice for giving the murderers of the believers and prophets blood to drink. Fourth vial. The fourth angel poured his vial onto the sun, giving it power to scorch humanity with fire. Those that were burned cursed God's name and refused to repent. Fifth vial. The fifth vial was poured directly onto the seat of the first beast, and his kingdom was covered in painful darkness. The inhabitants of that kingdom cursed God for their pains and sores, with no sound of repentance. Sixth Vial The angel with the sixth vial poured his on the river Euphrates, drying up the water in that river, preparing the way for the kings of the east. John then saw three unclean spirits in the form of frogs, one from the mouth of the dragon, the second from the mouth of the beast, and the third from the mouth of the false prophet. These spirits worked miracles to deceive the kings of the earth and the people of the world, gathering them all to the final battle. Jesus issues the warning that he gave while on earth. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame all gathered together for the final showdown in the place called Armageddon. Seventh Vial The seventh angel then poured out his vial into the air. The announcement was issued from the temple in heaven stating that it is done. There was thunders and lightnings and a massive earthquake. The great cities of the earth fell and were destroyed. Mountains and islands disappeared. Then God unloaded his wrath on Babylon. Huge hailstones fell and people remained defiant, cursing God. The Whore One of the seven angels that poured out the plagues took John to see more details of the power causing humanity to reject God. The angel showed John a woman who sits on many waters. She was riding a scarlet-colored beast that had seven heads and ten horns, and covered with blasphemous names. 
this woman was a whore who had relations with the rulers of the earth making them drunk with the wine of her fornication the whore was dressed in purple and scarlet clothing and adorned with gold precious jewels and pearls she had a golden cup in her hand full of the abominations and filthiness of her fornication on this woman's forehead was written her name and title mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth john saw this awful woman drunk with the blood of those who believed in god and the martyrs for jesus john was truly amazed at the sight of her then the angel said to john that he would explain the mystery of the woman and her beast the angel first explained the beast he said that the beast existed in the past did not exist in the present however it will rise out of the bottomless pit then enter destruction all the people in the earth whose names are not in the book of life will be enchanted by this beast the angel continued to describe the beast so that it could be identified he said the seven heads of the beast are seven mountains on which the woman sits there are seven kings for this kingdom five have gone one currently reigns and another is to come the last king will reign a short time then there will be an eighth king who is one of the previous seven and the beast himself on which the whore rides the ten horns on the beast are ten kings which have not yet received a kingdom these will receive their power for one hour with the beast all these kings have one mind and will yield their power to the beast this coalition will fight against the lamb and because the lamb is lord of lords and king of kings they will lose the angel explained that the waters that the horse sat on are people and nations of various languages after their loss the ten horns will turn on the whore and lay her bare and destroy her with fire, fulfilling the words of God. The angel plainly told John that the whore was the great city that reigns over the kings of the earth. Another angel came down and described in great detail the rapid destruction of this city and the lamentation of those who were made wealthy by her. An alarm also went out to those in her control, saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye receive not of her plagues. God reminds his people that were controlled by her of her haughty disdain for their needs, saying to herself, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and will see no sorrow. Because of this defiance, she and all who trusted in her and were intoxicated by her lawless promises and helped her to kill Jesus' martyrs will come to ruins in an instant. As we already learned, a woman represents a church, and a beast or horn represents a kingdom or king. However, the church described to John here as a whore is an aberrant amalgamation of religious and civil power. This church has all the optics of religion without God's law and have killed mass amounts of believers in God. The beast on which the church rides now has the same coloring as the dragon who previously attacked the pure woman. After reigning in this amalgamated kingdom through seven different kings, the devil himself will assume the throne. For one hour, he and the ten kings of the earth will reign and make an attack on jesus through his chosen people they will lose and the ten kings will destroy the lawless church the lawless church and the city from which she reigns in delusion will burn and those that made deals with her to become rich will lament now it's time for our activity first question what message did the first angel have?
That's correct. The first angel proclaimed loudly the everlasting gospel. Next question. Where did the fourth angel pour his vial? Correct. The fourth angel poured his vial on the sun and it scorched men. Next question. In what form were the three unclean spirits? Yes, the three unclean spirits were in the form of frogs. One came from the dragon, one came from the beast, and the other from the false prophet. Last question. Who is the whore? That's right. The whore is the corrupt church, the opposite of God's pure church, and she persecutes God's people. Now, write or say the memory verse from memory. Next time, we'll read about the destruction of sin and the arrival of the holy city. Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me.